In this slide, we are going to take a look at anisocytosis. So before we even put the slide on the um, <clears throat> microscope, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the analyzer printout. And the RDW, or the red cell distribution width, is going to be the indicator of the degree of, of anisocytosis. Um, so on this particular patient, uh, their RDW was 26.1. Um, so normal could be like 11.5 to 14.5, maybe even up to 15. Um, as you know, <clears throat> various laboratories establish their own normal values. Um, so, <clears throat> but what's clear on this particular patient is that the, the RDW is, is certainly well above normal, 26.1, and the cutoff on this printout is 14.5. Now, going ahead and looking at the print, the uh, slide, I, when I, whenever I judge uh, red cells, I always like to find, uh, use a white blood cell to, 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 as a point of reference, and particularly uh, a small lymphocyte. Now, this particular small lymphocyte is probably a little bit bigger than normal. Um, usually with a small lymphocyte, there's not that much cytoplasm. Usually the, the nucleus takes up the majority of the cytoplasm. So I can't tell if there's more cytoplasm or if the nucleus is just smaller, but we can still use it as a point of reference. And what we're looking for is the variation in the size of the red blood cells. So if we look at the red blood cells, um, you know, take a look at that, that lymphocyte, like at about 11 or 12 o'clock, we can see what I would call kind of a normal size red blood cell. And one thing I have to tell you about this slide, which is unusual, uh, uh, is that these are, uh, red cells don't seem to have much in the way of a central pallor. Um, so that's not normal. Um, but we're just going to focus on judging the variation in the size of them. So like I said, that, that red cell, that's at about at 11 o'clock. And then there's one at about 6 o'clock that appear to be normal. Now, if you just look around a little bit, I'll move the field. And we can see now in the center, there's definitely a bigger red blood cell and if you look around you can even see some other bigger ones and you know these particularly red blood cells have a, um, a, a little bit of a blue color to them which tells me that they might still be considered reticulocytes we wouldn't be able to determine that necessarily on a right stain um, but uh, they're looking like they could be showing a little bit of polychromasia um, but what doesn't change is the fact that we have smaller red blood cells and larger red blood cells on the same peripheral smear and therefore we're going to go ahead and make a call on our report about the degree of anisocytosis so you know despite what the analyzer um, remember I'm going to move around here just a little bit now here are the red cells yeah this is maybe a little bit better a little bit the, the the we're seeing a little bit more central pallor but it's not it's this certainly isn't normal um, but if I had to make a call here on the degree of anisocytosis I would probably say one to two plus now given the fact that the instrument uh, uh, printout told us that it was 26, which is way above normal. Um, I would expect it to be a solid 2 plus, but I wouldn't say that that is necessarily the case. I would say 1 plus to 2 plus anisocytosis.